Hi and smiles everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today I'm making some paper beads and I thought I'd throw on the camera and show you how I make my paper beads. Um, today I'm gonna I'm using some six by six papers, some paper pads that I have. I have a few quite a few paper pads, so I thought I'd use those. But you can certainly make them depending how large around you want your beads. You can use 12 by 12 paper. You can cut it down to 8 by 8. It all depends on how uh, round, or not round, but how thick you want your bead. So today I'm using the 6 by 6 papers because I wanted to make some <coughs> smaller beads. So basically I take the paper okay just rip this part off where the hole is there we go and then I just turn it over How do I want this I think I'll go this way. Actually, I'm just going to, there's a little uh, white on the edge here that I'm not quite, I don't think I want. So I'm going to just quickly trim that down, off, down or off, so it doesn't have that white edge to it. I suppose like some of the papers, they're rippable pens, and you won't get that white edge on it, but this one did. So I just basically take my pencil, where is a pencil? There it is. And I draw a line from the corner. I'll just put those aside. Those are some I was in the middle of doing. And thought I better put the camera on. Okay. So I just draw a line, sort of like a long triangle down. Then I turn my ruler. Now it depends how wide you want your bead to be, how wide it is at the end where you're going to start rolling. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly with this line. You can also bring it out further. So basically, you can't really make a mistake when you're getting your lines on your paper. You can also, of course, make it so you just have it straight down. So from this end, I'll show you that. And then your bead will roll differently. I'll show you. Well, I'll finish drawing these ones first, and then I'll show you that type of bead that I'm talking about. So you just go along. I don't want them too uh, some I some wide, some not wide, and of course you could measure it out if you so wanted to make every bead the exact same. But that isn't what my goal is with this, because I'm going to use this on journals. You can certainly use these. Uh, beads to make necklaces, earrings, all those things. So it gives you a wide variety of uh, colors, right? Because of your paper. Um, I think I'll just stop there and we'll make a line of this edge just to show you what I'm talking about, where you would make a bead more. So 
so it rolls in completely on itself I guess the best way to say it so we'll make one like that too okay so then you just take your scissors and cut this out and if you're not right on your line it's fine um, as long as you're doing it on the back side of the way you're going to roll because you'll never see these lines once it's rolled ones out for now to show you and then we'll do one that is more straight lined there I'll just put that to the side for now so then I use a skew is what I use um, you can buy bead rollers that have a slit in them and you put your paper in there and begin to roll which I do have a couple of those but I still like the skew for making the paper beads I find it e still easier perhaps it's because I learnt with this and uh, you can get this for nothing really you just buy the uh, package of these from the grocery store to use and I use skews for men a few different things in my craft room so I use this and then the next thing I do before I try and roll it I use my bone folder and I just curve it to start the rolling of my bead But you could use the pencil to do that. Anything that will curl it, right? The handle of your pokey tool, whatever. Just to get a little bit of a curl started. It makes it e easier the first couple of rounds on the skew. Skewer. Skewer. I think is how you say it okay all right so then I just take the bead and you you uh, the inside the white side you keep on the inside the side you want to show if it's double sided paper you um, roll it to the outside and then you get it star I just get it started on here then I use my thumb to roll and hold and some I start it rolling and then I pull it a little tight and then I finish rolling it then I take a little bit you get to uh, towards the end I should have maybe not used quite so dark of a color doing showing you because of the camera right so I'll do another one with the green then you just yeah about an inch or so three quarters of an inch something like that at the end I put some glue on it and then I just keep rolling it and I roll it over and secure it is how I do it and then you can easily just take it off of your skew and there's your bead so I'll do one in the green so you can see a little better because that's a brighter color so you just start it on your skew
using your thumb and your finger and then I pull it tight I get it started then I pull some oh, oh, oh whoop pulled it a little tight there <laughs> so I get it started then I tighten it holding my thumb on it to keep it in place and then I just roll it upon itself is what I do and so depending how wide you make your uh, when you're drawing your lines will be how wide your bead will end up being oh okay so just unroll it a little bit put some glue on it I know it's not always easy to see but it is quite an easy craft this or making of these beads is it's not difficult it's just fiddly I would say okay and then just roll 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 and then I just so and you'll get sometimes a little bit of glue on your finger and I just roll that over the bead okay that one you can probably see a little bit better take it off so there is your paper bead So the next thing, you can leave it like this with a matte kind of finish, but I like to um, put a little bit of shine on mine. So how I do that, oh, first I'll show you what one of these rolled on itself looks like. You don't get that edge like you do on that one. You'll get a straight bead. So this one, you got to try and keep it all very level, so it turns in on itself. So sometimes I will just adjust that as I'm rolling it to make sure it's staying in line. So again, the width of your paper will be the width of your bead. Okay, there we go. So this one I like to use both my hands to turn it, just because then I can work with the side and keep them as even as possible. on and you keep rolling rolling see I got quite a bit of glue there so I'm gonna just I don't want to put all of that on there so I'm gonna just roll it down along my finger okay and I'll just wipe this off my finger so then that is that type of bead. And then this is the other type that I... And myself, I prefer this type, but it depends on your project. I make them this way too. So how I go about, you can leave them like that, like I said, but if I um, put a little shine on them, they look even more beady-like. I guess you'd say. Uh, I'm not quite sure what word. But this here is what I use. And I just paint it on. And what it is, is I use floor. Uh, it's for floor care. So it is polished for floors. And it is uh, under pledge here in Canada, but it's also uh, finish, I think, and future is on there. So any t anything that says something in that lines will work just fine. 
and it's it's nice because it gives a little bit of shine and it seals the paper and it's not sticky when uh, it gets it dries it's not sticky so but I would not dip my beads into there and then put them on what I do I made first of all I made this from paper air dry clay basically for a stand and I just as you can see I just did a flat piece and then I stuck some of my sticks in to make holes and then it air dries quite and it's held up really really well so I basically I take a bead and I put it on the end so why I wouldn't dip the bead is you don't want it to get inside and dry or it's going to stick to your piece, your little piece of wood. You could use toothpicks. Um, these were from um, crafts for children for building things with sticks and I liked them because they were a little bit thicker than a toothpick because the tooth toothpicks sometimes they can they don't hold the bead as well but these I'm sure you could find things like this at the dollar at a dollar store quite cheap so then all I do is I paint it with the the finish here the floor floor care finish so I do, and then I just make sure the drips are off, and then I just put it in here, like this, and I let it dry. And it honestly does not take long to dry, because um, by the time I get this filled to the end, this side is already dry because I like to put a, uh, two coats on for sure because the first coat tends to soak into the paper uh, quite a bit which is not a surprise at all to me um, so that gives a good sealer to your paper and then the second will um, be more Give it more of a shine and then depending how shiny you want them to be you just keep putting layers on until it gets to the where you want your shine Whoop. your beads shine to be so that's all there is to it yes that's what I do so here are some, I'm going to just show you a few that I've done already, so you can see. I'm hoping the shine of them will show up in on camera. So, but this one is quite shiny. And I'm hoping you can see that quite well. I'll bring it right up. So yeah, that's how you make up, or how I, anyway, I'm not sure if everybody does it that way, but that's how I make paper beads. And they're fun, and they're very, when you're, you're having a day where you're not uh, really creative, these are a nice thing to do. So, yeah. So that's what I'm up to today, guys, and I just wanted to share that with you. And I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day and a very crafty, crafty kind of day. And we'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye for now.